Here we are in section 5.6 with numbers 1 through 6. Here we have uh, the rules for factoring, and that's all we're doing, just factoring the following. So we've got these five rules that we've been working on, and now we're going to put them together. So number 1, let's put out the greatest common factor. It looks like there's a 4 and an x that we can take out of there, and that gives us an x that's left there plus a 9. And that's as far as we can go. Number two, this one, no greatest common factor, has two terms, so it's down in a special case, and it's going to be a difference. Notice that that is a subtraction, that's important, difference of two perfect squares. Uh, that's r times r gives us an r squared, and an 8 times 8 gives us a 64, and the plus on one side and the negative on the other ensure that when they multiply back together, those middle terms will indeed vanish. So this will multiply to give us that. There we have the factoring of the difference of squares. All right, what's next? Number three. Here we have uh, no greatest common factor. It has three terms, and it looks like this guy, so it's method number three. So here's an x and an x, and what times is to 4? Well, 1 and a 4, or a 2 and a 2, and adds to 4. It's 2 and 2. That's plus 2, plus 2. You may also recognize this as x plus 2 squared. Yeah, that right there, it's a perfect trinomial square. All right, let's try another one. Uh, here, no greatest common factor. Three terms with a leading coefficient not equal to 1. So we take the AC method. So 5 times a negative 1 is a negative 5. And we've got to see what adds together to be a negative force. So we have a 1 and a 5. Well, that's it. So a negative and a positive, does that do it? Yeah, this multiplies to negative 5 and adds to negative 4. So let's break up that negative 4 into 5x squared plus x minus 5x minus 1. Now we have four terms and can group. So in this one right here, we take out an x. We get 5x plus 1. This one, ah, there's no common number, but they do both have a negative sign. So we can take out a negative 1, and that makes that a 5x. Good, it matches, and the other guy matches as well. Good. So that gives us x minus 1 times 5x plus 1. Excellent. Great. All right, what's the next one here? Here, this is two terms, like we had up here on number 2. Difference of squares, yes, that's a subtraction. So it's going to break up into x plus 5 and x minus 5. There's a difference of two exact squares there. And the last one, number 6. Uh, greatest common factor, no. There are four terms, so we're going to group it. Chop that guy right in half and see what we can pull out of this side. That's an x squared. Leaves us an x plus a 5. And over here, we can pull out a minus 9. That leaves us with an x plus a 5. All right. So now let's take out an x plus a 5 and x squared minus 9. Are we done, though? No, look at this one. This is a difference of squares again. So this is x plus 3, x minus 3, just like we did on number 5 and number 2. And that x plus 5 just sits right down there out in front. So there's our answer. Good.